This is Gene Key, SkyServ News. This report from KHOU.com. A man was hit and killed while crossing the street in East Houston early Sunday. Police said the man attempted to cross Maxie Road near Fleming around 1.45 a.m. A driver of a pickup truck who had a green light didn't see the victim and hit the man, police said. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Authorities said the driver stopped and waited for the police to arrive. No charges were expected to be filed. From the website KVU e.com and the Associated Press. White House officials say President Barack Obama has signed a federal disaster declaration for Texas in the wake of wildfires in the state. The move allows federal funding to be made available to individuals in Bastrop County in the central part of the state. The federal aid will supplement state and local recovery efforts. Assistance can include grants for temporary housing and home repairs, low-cost loans to cover uninsured property losses and other programs. Some residents left homeless by a massive wildfire that has burned almost a week in and around the city of Bastrop have voiced frustration over a perceived delay in federal response. The blaze has destroyed nearly 1,400 homes. The White House says President Barack Obama's proposed Jobs Act could create 141,500 jobs in Texas. The breakdown released Friday says the American Jobs Act would support 64,100 construction jobs, 39,500 teaching and first responder positions, and provide job training for 37,900 Texans. The president unveiled the plan Thursday night. It would also cut the payroll tax for 390,000 Texas companies and spend $8 billion on projects and works within the state. Obama said the cost would be covered by deficit reduction legislation that would be announced later. The proposal met with immediate disdain from Governor Rick Perry, who is also running for president. Perry said Obama's proposals offer little hope for millions of Americans who have lost jobs. Perry said the answer was to cut spending, not spend more. Milor, a 15-year-old female, is the only tiger on display. El Paso Zoo officials said that's going to be the case for quite a while. The other female is under observation for attacking the male tiger, Wazoo. It was Thursday afternoon that zoo officials said they heard that the two of their tigers, Wazoo and Sira, were fighting. When staff arrived, they said that the male tiger was dead. The zoo vet said Wazoo died from being strangled by Sira. Zoo staff said the animals that they had at their facility are like family, and that the rarity of these tigers makes Wazoo even harder to replace. According to Steve Marshall, El Paso Zoo director, we got these two animals from other zoos. They are under what's called Species Survival Program. There's only about 58 Malayan tigers in North America in this breeding program. Zoo staff said the two tigers had been together for about two months and that they were playing together earlier that day. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.